Let's see if it's going. Okay. Let's see if it's working now. I think it's working. Maybe. There we go. I think it's working now. Okay. Yeah. Now it's working. I don't know. I restarted my internet because I was thinking maybe there was something wrong. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. So I haven't had it pause like that in a little while. As you guys know, I've been pretty good where I've been able to get it um, to work. So today I wanted to use Pure Magic. Um, so re maybe restarting the Wi-Fi will help. So, all right. So thanks for tuning in. So today's card, I have a fun um, dragon, Maleficent dragon card. I'm moving the light over so we have just a little better light. And um, let me pop the dimensionals on this so you guys can see it. Um, I went ahead and I decided I love this dragon from the Pure Magic and thought, okay, what am I going to do with that? And usually when I pick out stamp sets, I actually pick them out based on whether I can do, not always, but I do often pick them out based on whether they'll match a Disney character or not. <laughs> so um, it's really common that I do that. So thanks for tuning back in, you guys. Sorry about that little, I don't know what is going on with the internet because it hasn't done it in a little while. All right, so let me pop this on here so we have it. So you get the idea. Okay, so I made this great card um, using the Pure Magic stamp set. And um, this is the In Color 2023, uh, 2025. I think it's 2023 to 2025. Um, I, I don't have a new pack handy. Let's see. Yeah, here. No, that's not it. That's the brights. I thought I had a pack handy. I guess not, but it's this one here. Oh, there it is. It's the 2022 to 2024. It's the one that has Parakeet Party in it, and it has um, Sweet Sorbet and the um, uh, Sweet Sorbet and the Starry Sky in it. It's just so pretty. I just thought it was a really good um, design. And I'm gonna put some embellishments on here in a, in a second, but we'll just start with that. And I even put a little in the inside. So we'll just get started. Okay, so I decided to use one of my favorite dies. I don't know if you guys have seen these dies, but they're called the, it's like a frame stitched with whimsy die. So I'm gonna show you this one here and then I'll show you a blank one that we're gonna to use today. So as you can see, it doesn't actually cut, it stitches a rectangle, but the cool thing about it is, is it just, it doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut a, a, a scalloped edge. It just cuts the, um, it just cuts the stitching. Sorry, my moving the light then moves the camera. <laughs> so, okay, um, and so it just stitches the, um, it just cuts the stitching. And so what I've often done with this particular die is I've actually, you know, usually just stamp on white and then I color it. I did this, this is um, Marvelous Madame Mim from uh, Sword in the Stone. Um, and I usually do like a white, you know, to use white and then I stitch because the white makes it really stand out. And so I do like to use the white, but I also kind of thought, well, does, do you always have to stamp in the center? Can you do other things? And that's how I came up with this and decided to use it as a border and then put some paper on the inside and layer it up, which is kind of unusual based on the experience I've seen people using it. So I almost, you might wonder why I didn't use a square. Well, this square that they have in here is too small for the dragon. I really wanted to use one of these squares, but the dragon is just a little too big um, for that, that square. Maybe if I had used the mermaid, that might have fit in there. Um, so anyway, so I cut this piece here. Let me get my paper out. There we go. 
Okay. All right. Got a little thrown off my game. So, oh good, I'm glad, Marsha, you can see, see potential. I love the paper that's in the 2022, 2024. It has plaid on one side, it has dots on the other, and then the other paper that's inside of it, there's stripes and then there's a flower. I did a bunch of Tinkerbell cards with the flowers, which um, I've shown you guys before. I love using this green for Tinkerbell. The green and the starry night, the parakeet party and the starry sky are my favorite. Um, I've used them a bunch. Oh, here we go. Here's a floral piece. And so, and actually I used the floral one for a Valentine. And so that's fun, that floral and the back side of that I think has the stripes, yeah. And so the, it's really versatile paper and I think the colors that they chose for us for that year, this or this two years has been good. You could technically use the polka dots. I just really love the plaid. And so I'm gonna use the plaid. And so we're gonna pop that. And this is two, this is the um, second to largest die. The biggest die actually covers the entire card front. The largest die goes across the full five and a half by four and a quarter. The next size is this one here. And that one is, um, that one is only three and three quarters by five. Um, for this one, but this one is quite a bit larger um, than the card. So yeah, I'm going to slide it out. I haven't used the largest one that much because I don't know, it's kind of big. And of course, now that I want to show you real quick, it's gonna, as you can see, see it'll cover your entire card front. So it's really I guess it's more like the four inches by five and a quarter. It's really, really large. It'll cover your whole card front. And then the next size down is three and three quarters by five and um, by five inches. And then it keeps going down from there. It's really large. Um, all right, let's set that Okay, so yeah, these are called the Stitch with Whimsy. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna, oh, I wanted to stamp right here. I wanna stamp, I wanted to stamp, instead of with white, I wanted to try and stamp your pure magic in the corner. Let me see if I can get it straight. If not, I'm gonna cover it with some white. I did, I got it straight. I wanted, I kinda like it when we can stamp without the white background, you know? Um, and so I really wanted to try that. And so I'm just layering out my stuff and then I'm gonna get to my dragon. And the dragon is the hardest part just because you have to color it. But I think I did a pretty good job with getting the coloring just right. All right, there we go. And so, and this is four inches by five and a quarter. Yeah, four inches by five and a quarter, okay. And so that's good there. And then we'll pop it on our black. So the overall layout, um, the, the, it's amazing how the dies give a good dimension to the layout. Actually, this is, um, I'm wrong. Let me get my ruler really quick. That's right, this is, no, this is three and, no, this purple is three and three quarters by five inches, and this white is three and a half by um, uh, four and three quarters, I believe. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, four and three quarters. Uh, the white one is four and three quarters. And actually, to be honest, when I was using this die, I cut it on a larger piece like this first. I did the stitching on it like this first. Then I did the trimming because I found it was a little tricky sometimes to get it right up against the edging right, but it's up to you. You can try different, different things. All right, so then for the inside of my card, 
before I get to the black, I wanted a little something on the inside. And I, I just thought it would be fun to have a little something on the inside. So I decided to do this little pink, a peak of wings. I tried doing the tail, but the tail was a little too, uh, it's a little too close to the body. I couldn't get it to where I wasn't popping. See, there's a little bit of his body in the corner there, but it's not gonna kill me. I'm gonna turn it over, try it one more time. Let me see if I can get it. I don't wanna get purple on the, well, I guess I flipped it over, so. I'm trying to avoid getting the body on there, but I still want a decent amount of the wings on there. Oh, yeah, the other one was better. Because <laughs> like, now I've got a big part of his body. And I was just trying to avoid getting his body on there. I could have masked it off, but I decided to not, because, you know, I don't need to. It's not a biggie. It's just a tiny, tiny bit. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this on the inside. I just felt like that little dragon wing just added a little fun to the inside of the card. And I did it in purple, that's um, Gorgeous Grape. I used Gorgeous Grape for that. Okay. And so most people aren't gonna notice that tiny little bit of his body. Thanks, Marsha. Let me go ahead and pop this. We're done with our purple. So now we're gonna use black. We're gonna stamp our dragon on a piece of black or on a piece of white cardstock. Um, okay. And I'm just gonna, I, I didn't clean it off because black will cover up the purple. And it, it's a really nice fine line drawing. So it actually looks really good, even just in black and white or in a color, as you saw when I did it with the gorgeous grape. It looks really good, even if you just did it in a color. I could have actually gotten away with stamping the dragon in purple in a way, because look at how pretty it is just in the colored ink. Um, but I wanted to definitely color it in this situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my lightest colors first before I get to the blacks because I've just found that sometimes, you know, you get the black on your fingers. And um, so I'm gonna color the one eyelid in um, green. Now, technically Maleficent's little spikes on her back are all black, but I love Parakeet Party. It's my favorite color right now. I love lime greens. I really love lime green. I love green in general, but I love Lemon Lime Twist was my other favorite green. And then I'm going to add just a few green scales, just a couple. And you don't really color them per se. You just kind of add a dab of color near them. You know, it's not like you're really coloring in the scales. You're just giving a hint. And so we're done with the parakeet party. Then we're gonna take our, um, uh, then we're gonna take our, um, this is dark Highland Heather. Oh, and that was dark parakeet party. Um, then we're gonna take dark Highland Heather. I don't have gorgeous grape in a blend. So I just used my Highland Heather because it's, it's like a best friend of, um, and I colored a little bit, I need to color a little bit of the nose here with purple because I, when it's right up against the, um, the black on the black, so it was, the body was getting a little bit lost. And I'm just adding a little bit of purple scales, just a few purple scales. Technically her whole belly is usually purple, but I'm just adding a few in here and then I'm adding a few of the dark black I need to get this fixed because this kept popping off okay and so then I'm just adding a few dots for the scales in the dark black oh and I forgot that Oh, 
And I actually colored the tail with some dark Highland Heather because I just liked having that tail just be a little bit slightly different color. Okay, so now we're all done with all our darks. Now I can't use black to color, oh, um, I can't use black to color, um, whoops. It's not available, see, look at it. I need to call Stampin' Up. I'm surprised that the lid, this is a brand new pen. I'm, I must, it must be faulty because it's coming off including the ink stick. Um, oh, and then I'm taking the dark black and coloring a few of these stripes. And I'm not measuring it exactly because it'll blend. Okay, so Gorgeous Grape doesn't have a blender. I didn't realize that. Um, well, I'm glad you told me that because I was thinking, oh, it would be so hard if I had Gorgeous Grape. And so. Have jury duty this week. It's weird here in Texas. Jury duty is basically like two days if you get selected or more. Um, like the first day is on Zoom and you just wait around until they tell you if you're getting selected. And then, uh, and then the next day you actually go to the courthouse the day they select you. So it's kind of weird how they do it. I don't quite understand it. So then I took the dark black and I colored just a handful of stripes. I'm gonna hold it up here for you. So you see, I colored just a handful. I didn't even make sure they were very clear or clean because they're going to get covered with the blend when I get to coloring. Um, and so, yeah. And so as you can see, I added just a little bit around her nose and I added it to the horns, the Dark Highland Heather. So just to see the general gist. And then I take the light basic black. Uh, oh no, I need to take the Highland Heather for the, the wings, that's right. And then I just colored the wings. Actually, I think I did that last because then the black would lighten. Okay, I did that wrong. Okay. See, there's something wrong with these black pens. Cause look, even on this one, I pulled off the whole stick. Okay. I'm gonna have to call them. These are brand new, so there must be faulty. Okay, so for the wing, I just did the light basic black. And I just, I did the dark for the stripes, but then I'm doing like a little squiggle on the, the actual like spider webby part of the wing, you know, or the bat part of the wing, you know, the part that shows all the skin. Anna. Okay. And I did it in a squiggly line to mimic those striped lines. And I'm just using the light basic black so that you can still see the design of the lines. Yeah, my friend just got called for federal duty. Um, and that was sounds kind of crazy. I've never been called for federal jury duty. Well, I've never served on a jury. But, um, okay, and I'll do the rest of the body here in a minute. Let me get the purple out of the way because I don't want to put my hand on the black when I'm trying to get the purple um, sorted. This 
So you see it blends that little, oops, woof. Almost messed up my whole card. And so I still get those stripes with this technique, but it's not too, I, I think adding that little bit of black to the wing um, on the stripes just gave it a different dimension when I was doing the coloring. Oops, I need to get the black again. I missed a spot, a big spot. Too. There we go. Yeah, it just adds a little something to it to have those little black. Ah, oh, see, it's so weird. I think I actually broke the ink, it looks like, even. I don't know. I'm going to call them tomorrow. They're closed today for. Um, President's Day, but I'll call them tomorrow. Let them know that my, I have a defaulty black inks. Because, yeah, that's so weird. I've never had such a problem. Okay, yeah, so. All right, so then I color my dragon in the light basic black. And I color over that purple on the the muzzle of her nose, you know, because I just want to have a hint of it so that when I'm coloring, when it's right up against the rest of her body, you can see a little distinction. It, you can see it when it's up close. It's just... Our blender pens are amazing. I don't want anyone to think our blender pens aren't amazing because they are. But for some reason, I'm having trouble with this particular set. You know, defects happen sometimes. And so the good thing is that Stampin' Up! is so good with their policy. So if I call them with any kind of issue with any product, 99.9% .9 of the time, they don't make me mail it back. There are one or two things that they will make you mail back like the large machines and stuff. I'm not sure about the paper pumpkins, but um, okay. It's hard to see the how that coloring, because I'm coloring over the top of it now with um, black, but when I hold it up to the light, you'll see it, see the different light texture. Because she has an all black body so you want to make sure her body is all black. Except her belly has a nice purple belly. Technically her scales, I guess, her the scales of her belly. I think that's the whole thing. Okay. Let's let that dry for a second. And so when I hold it up to the light, you can see how those little, that little bit of um, color on the scales and on her nose really made a difference in the coloring of the dragon. You can't see it from very far away, but when you're up close to it, you can see it. It took me a little while and I can see how the my black lines on my wings could have been a little bit better, but I think that they're they're pretty good. I think they're okay. Um, it was like a struggle. Um, and so here's the other one. So on the other one that I originally did, um, I was a little more careful. I think I was getting anxious cause I was doing it live on camera. So I was a little better with the wings, but I made her head all purple and then I colored it black over the top. So you could see, but you can barely see her muzzle, you know, because it's like not enough. Um, I think coloring it 
where I didn't, I pretty much didn't even color her nose. I just left it relatively purple and just lightly touched it with the black. I think that helps so you can see the, her nose against her body a little bit better. And now I have to just cut it out. And so let me grab my scissors, little snips. And so I used uh, both of the blacks, the dark parakeet party and the dark Highland Heather. And so for my little, I'm just gonna, I have to fussy cut it. And remember you turn the paper, not the scissors. And I'm not cutting too close to the body. I just wanted. I'm leaving a good trim. Thanks, Marsha. You're such a good supporter. Marsha loves every card I do. <laughs> I think lots of people like my cards, but it's so funny. Marsha's my favorite supporter. She's always like, your cards are the best. I'm just good at making Disney cards. No, baby. No, no. Not right now. No. I'm glad we got the internet going. I, I guess just restarting next time that happens where it starts to, I'm not gonna buy a new phone. I know some of it might be the phone, but my phone is empty. There's like a ton of space on it. There's hardly any apps. So I'm not getting a new phone just because Facebook has decided that it wants to run at a higher amp or whatever it is, whatever it's called when it's, because I already bought a new phone to fix that issue and I'm just not gonna do it again. Uh, someone told me maybe I needed a new modem and that might be the case. I might invest in a new modem, but, um, but well, you know, but that's like another hundred dollars, you know what I mean? So I'm just kind of trying to play, play it out, see what happens before I submit, you know, spend a lot of money. And so you see how like, you see how fun that is that I added the color onto the stitch with whimsy as opposed to stamping on. Now the stamping on is fine. I love my little Madame Mim that I did here, but I can also see how it's really cool to just have the, use the background paper, use it as an additional layer, which was a kind of a surprise. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work or if I'd like it. Another cool thing I could add would be some, uh, I could add some Wink of Stella, but I also don't want my blends to get a little, I don't want them to get too wet. So that looks good. And so, yeah, I think it looks really good, especially when I hold it to the light, you can see all those scales. And I love that you can see her nose a little bit better on this, it's hard to, it's hard to see it in the light, but it definitely has a better look. Um, when I take a photo, hopefully I can get a good close up of it. I'm trying to update my blog more and more to where I can share things on Pinterest and stuff, share my images on Pinterest. I haven't been very good at that, but I'm working on it. Okay, so there we go. So there's our basic card and I don't know why I saved this Madame Mim. It started to, see when you use to, uh, the pure plain um, alcohol blends, it actually is like too much alcohol and it actually started to tear the face. And so it was too much because it was just pure alcohol. Those, those the, um, the original blends are pure uh, blender markers that are clean that you can make your own. Um, they're, too, um, there's too much alcohol in them to use them for that. So, okay, so let's go ahead. And I thought I would put some, I felt like this needed some bling. I tried a few different, I'm going back to these rhinestones. You know how much I love these rhinestones. I use them a lot, but I think just cause they're iridescent, they just add a lot more. I don't know if I want the black one or the large one. Let's see, well, I guess the large one doesn't look bad. 
always feel like I think I'm gonna make a make it five. Just adding a few. I just felt like it needed a little something else in this corner. Yeah, just needed a little something. I might even add two more because it just needs a little oomph. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will add one more down here. And I think I'll add another one right there. Just needed a little more. I normally don't add seven. That's kind of a lot of rhinestones, but I did want to make sure it had plenty of. And it's kind of cute how there's this one. Okay, so when I stamped it on this one originally, it was crooked. It's not crooked. What happened is my um, my um, foam is a little off from the rubber. And so like, so when I put the sticker on it, it basically made it almost like a crooked, like a crooked stamp. So once I tried it out and figured out how to get it straight, if I measure the edge of the rubber, then I'll always have a straight image. If I use the sticker, the sticker is crooked. And so that didn't work. And so I had to, it was crooked when I stamped it here. So I just took a little tiny piece of white and just covered it up, no big deal. But I kind of like it directly on the designer series paper. I don't think I do that enough where I just stamp right on the DSP, but I think it looks good when you do. So yeah, so that's our card. Oh, and then don't forget that the inside, so you see on my original one, I managed to get it to where there was basically no body on there, just the wings and I in the gorgeous grape. So yeah, so that's our card. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I always tell my students, yeah, I tried a different, few different things, but I think the iridescent gems are really, rhinestones are the best for this particular design. So yeah, so that's our, that's our deal. I thought it turned out pretty good, agreed. And so it just takes a minute to get the coloring right. That's the hardest part, is getting the coloring just right. Um, and so don't forget, I use the Stitch With Whimsy dies and the Pure Magic stamp set. And you can pick those up um, at fabulousstamper.com. And um, anything else you see, you can also pick up at fabulousstamper.com. And um, it'll take you directly to my page so that I get credit when you order. So yeah, so that's our, that's our card for today. Good, good, good. I think it turned out good. I like how it turned out a lot. So thanks for tuning in, guys. That didn't take too long. I was worried that the coloring was going to take a long time, but I guess because I had practiced it, it didn't take as long as I thought. So, so yeah. All right, well, have a great day. Thanks so much.